Okay, so to refresh my mind, who can give me ideas of our different topics we've been focusing on for writing? We said that reader or writers can write about this and this and this and this. What are some ideas that you guys have came up with? Data. Readers can ask questions while they write. Yep. They can ask all of those W questions. Who the story is about, where the story is, what they're doing, why they're doing it. Good job. Jose. Writers, writers use mechanics, right? So we use our pencils to write, and we write about all of those things that we know. Xander. About, um, all stories. About, outdoor Writers write about outdoor stuff. Who can, who can help me out at home? Sophia, thanks for raising your hand. You could write about going inside. That's your story? Inside. About going inside? Mm hmm mm hmm You're right. First graders, your eyes are up here. Thank you, Jose. Elias. Eyes up here. We talked about how um, writers write about things that they know. Writers write about things that they love. Writers write about things that... Kaya? Yeah. Writers write about things that make them happy. Oh, our brains are remembering all this stuff now. Kayla, do you remember something? Something we did. Something you did, yeah. yeah. So, boys and girls, these topics are everywhere, and that's why on our paper up here it says topics are everywhere. Have you ever sat at your desk and thought, I can't think of anything that I want to write about. I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. Have you ever felt like that when you're writing? You haven't felt like that? Well, that's really good. Some of you are shaking your head and you're saying, yeah, I felt like that before. Liam, do you have a question? Yes, you may. Thanks for asking. So, if you get stuck, boys and girls, what I want to show you is that topics are everywhere. So, this is what I'm going to do. Watch what I do. Elias, you should be in your chair right now. We don't have our writing books out yet. I'm going to close my eyes, and I'm just going to... Stick my finger out, and I'm going to go like this until Alakai tells me stop, and whatever I point at is what I'm going to write about. Okay? So, Alakai, I'm going to close my eyes, and I'm going to point, and when, whenever you say stop, I'm going to stop, okay? Go ahead and tell me stop when you want me to. Okay, I'm looking to see what I'm pointing at, and I pointed at I pointed at Sophia's pumpkin. So, Sophia, you had me stop on your pumpkin that you drew with your cat, and it's so cute. So, guess what? This is what I'm going to write my story about today. So, you are the star of my story, Sophia. Boys and girls. Topics are everywhere. If you can't think of something to write about, close your eyes. Maybe you want to do exactly what I did and you would just tell yourself, okay, stop. And I'm pointing at the projector. Maybe you want to tell a story about the projector. Maybe that helps you think of doing go noodles. Maybe you're really hungry right now and you're like, I want to write about my favorite food. Maybe you want to write about um, your mask. Or maybe you want to write about... Um, your favorite animal. So, this is just one idea that I gave you guys. One idea is that you can um, just close your eyes and point to anything. Uh, Zayden's trying it out right now. So, I picked my topic out. There, you guys can see me a little better. I picked my topic out. So, now I'm going to start writing about Sophia's pumpkin. Sophia, can you tell me about this cat right here? Can you tell me about it? Her name is Lula. Um, I ended up pointing at the nine. Oh, Sophie, I can't hear you. I can hear Bracket, though. Her name is Lula. Lula. So, Sophia is going to help me make sure that I spell Lula the correct way. L Lula. How do I spell Lula, L. Sophia? L U L A. Okay, 
Yeah. So this is Sophie's cat, mm-hmm. and his name is Lula. Sander, you need cool. to keep your mask on too. Oh, my mask was upside down. Okay, go ahead and fix it. So, so far, oh, I know that I'm writing about Sophia's cat named Lula, and I might need to ask her some questions. Maybe, uh, how old is Lula? Eight. Eight year old? Lula's eight years old. So I have some good ideas about what I'm going to be writing about. So today, as you write your story, if you get stuck, I want you to try exactly what I did. Close your eyes, point around, tell yourself stop, and whatever you point at, see if that's something that you want to write about. Okay? I'm pointing at Anna. Yeah. So maybe you want to talk about um, machines. Because you love talking about machines, and that's a machine. Do you see how that brings more ideas? Yeah, that's so cool. So, as I work on my story today, boys and girls. Okay, time to refocus. Eyes back on me. Me, teacher. Thank you. Yes. You're talking to me, Kieran? I'm talking to the whole class, including you guys on the screen, okay? I I love Lego machines that give you candy when you do something. Yeah, so maybe, maybe uh, Kieran's going to write about a Lego machine here. So I'm going to get started with my story. I'm going to build a Lego Jack in the Box, but um, my that would take a lot. I have to wait until my, my, um, the pieces for it are going to get here tomorrow. What? Um, so, can you give me back your packet? Can you write one? Yes. Yes, I will. Thank you, Sophia. Yeah. All right. So first graders, as I write my story, I can't forget about all of the skills that I've learned in writing, okay? I need some punctuation. We know about three different kinds of punctuation. We know this one is called a? Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark, and we use it for? Excitement. What's this one called? Question mark. Question mark, and we use it when we ask a? Question. Question, and we have a good question voice to go with it. This one is super easy. It's called a? Punctuation. Per- per- period. Period. And a period means punctuation. Stop. Period means stop. Mm-hmm. Jose, make sure you're focused, okay? So, I think when I write about Lula, Sophia's cat, I'm going to use excitement, okay? So, I'm going to start out by saying, uh, Sophia's cat is Lula. And that's how many words? Four. Four. So four blanks. Ready? Sophia's cat is Lula. And I'm going to put an exclamation point because I know that I want to say it with excitement. I want to say Sophia's cat is Lula. So when I write it, Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. Can I ask somebody here how to spell Sophia? Who should I ask? Sophia. I should ask Sophia, right? Sophia, how do you spell your name? S-S-S-S-I. Okay. O. Okay. So how do you like that? I. A. Okay. You want to know how to write my name? So hold on, Karen. First grader, I messed up on something because I just remembered that some words need capitals. But I Liam, what do I need to fix up? It's okay. I'm just going to go like this. Liam said that is a name, and I know names start with a capital S. It's also the beginning of my sentence. sentence. So, Sophia's, Sophia's cat. Elias, help me spell cat. Is Lula. Um, Kaya is. Is. I know how to write my name. Kieran? Say it really loud. Uh-huh. You yes. I know how is. to write my name. Kieran, I need you to show respect by staying muted until we get to writing, okay? Thank you. Okay. Okay, Lula, and look right here. She's already showed me how to spell Lula, so I'm going to just copy it right here. Lula. 
Now, the best thing that I could do right now, boys and girls, is add even more details to my writing. So, I already know that Lula is eight, right? Yes. So maybe I should make my next sentence say, Lula is eight. How many blanks will I need this time? Lula is eight. Lula is eight. How many blanks? Three. Three blanks. Here we go. Lula is eight. End of my sentence, so I'm putting a period. Ready? Lula, because of the name, is, I already know how to write is, because I wrote it here. And then how old is Lula? Eight. Now I have two good sentences, but I'm missing something. What am I missing? The picture. Picture to go with it. So, details. Details for Lula. I'm going to have to ask Sophia what color Lula is. Black. Sophia, what color is Lula? She's brown and fluffy. Brown and fluffy. So those are details I need to add in here. If I'm writing about Lula, I need to make sure I have the right details. Also, the cat belongs to Sophia, so I should probably draw Sophia. Wouldn't that make sense? Then, I need to make sure that I do something to my pictures. I need to label label my pictures, right? So, those are the kind of things that I need to add to my pictures. Show me you're ready for writing. Show me you're ready. Okay, show me you're ready. Okay, please get out your storybook. Go to a brand new page. And you're going to start with your story. Remember, if you can't think of a topic, close your eyes. Maybe you can point to anything in the room, or you can just close your eyes and think of something that you like. Um, if you absolutely can't think of anything, um, probably not copy because that's not showing me your writing skills. That just shows me how good you can copy. So what I would like you to do is... Chris, how will you write Lulu is the best? I should write Lulu is the best. Okay, so I'm going to have those points. Sorry, Lula. Lula. Mm -hmm. Lula's is the best. Okay, first graders, you're going to start writing. The story is to be finished tomorrow with Miss Cheatham. So work on it today and you'll finish tomorrow.